So we talked a little bit, you both touched a little bit in talking about what Congress is up to now on what some of these key areas that Congress and education policy at the federal level has been engaged in. And one of the things that we want to make sure we're helping educators on the ground to understand is what is the responsibility at different levels of policy. So when we think about the federal government, um, you both talked a little bit about assessments and accountability. Can you expand a little bit on what are some of the key federal roles? So as an educator, if I see a problem, what are some of those problems I might be seeing that the federal government would be the place that I would want to go to talk about those problems to? Um, Maria, do you want to get started on that one? Sure. Well, first of all, I think it's important for everyone to understand that the U.S. Department of Education is not allowed to, there, there's a very, very extensive list of things that the U.S. Department of Education, Secretary of Education, are not allowed to tell states and districts what to do. Those include things like, I just mentioned, grading. Um, they include things like personnel matters. They include standards, academic standards. They include the, the tests that are administered. And I think sometimes this fact comes as a as a surprise to many people um, because we often see um, issues like testing and accountability tossed around when we talk about federal accountability um, and federal education policy. But what the federal role is, um, is to require states to do certain things in order to get funding. And while the department can't dictate what the standards are or what the tests are, they can set standards for um, standards for standards, <laughs> um, standards for assessments, standards of quality and rigor, um, and then it's up to the states to write those and determine what those actually look like. And so that's why um, that the additional flexibility to an already, frankly, flexible system um, creates a, a moment where folks that have different thoughts on what the state role in, in accountability and assessment, this is time to speak up because um, in the federal, federal staffers need to hear this. They need to hear that there are things out there that are working. This is what's going on in my school. This is promising. You can trust districts. You can trust states to innovate. Um, and so that, I think, is, is a message that is important to bring to the federal government that um, rather than reining in even more on what those standards are for academic standards and assessments, it's, uh, it's still a good time to, to encourage that flexibility. 